Hello everyone. Welcome to your favorite cat functional quantifiers. So today we have a very interesting set with us in the form of some conditional formatting. I won't say it an arrangement, but it is more or less of a conditional, uh, you know, uh, just soothing out some condition and finally extracting some result. This is this, this type of set. Okay. Before we move to the set, this is the comprehensive overview of the courses we provide for cat. Our new batch is going to start super soon. So if you are interested, you can join with the link given in the description. Let's see what the set is all about. So it says there are eight students from S1 to S8, student one, student two, up to student eight. They are fighting for supremacy in a college. To prove, to prove their supremacy, those eight students compete with each other on one or more of five skills. So there are some five skills. Let's say skill one, skill two, skill three, skill four, skill five. And they, the players are clashing on those skills. Let's say S1 says to S3 that I am better than you in skill 5. So they are competing over that. And then they are also competing over skill 2. So this is the kind of scenario. Two students are said to be in clash if there is at least one skill where they have equal proficiency. For example, S1 can have a clash with let's say S5. So they will have an equal proficiency in the skill. Let's say this skill they fight over skill P3. Okay. So it's something like this. Now, the table below lists the number of clashes of these students. So, the table is showing number of clashes. So, now I have to determine who clashed with whom or how many different skills they clashed and etc. etc. So, let's, let's see what will be the thought process. Now, the best thing in this type of set is I have to identify that. See, S1, S1 has only one clash and he could have that clash with anyone. Any one of these. I don't know. But can I say that when I see about S5, there are eight people and S5 is having seven clashes, which means S5 can clash with all of them on a different level. For S1 up to S2 up to S8, yes, that is the only way he can compete with seven people. So let us just try to order them. So S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6, S7 and S8. So these are the eight people. Okay. Now they are competing over supremacy at different levels. So S7, uh, sorry, S5 as I can see is competing with all of the other people. So I will write S5 competed with S1, S2, S3, S4, S6, S7 and S8. These are the eight people with, with whom S5 had a clash. But S1 had a clash with only one. So it is quite evident that if S1 has a clash with only one person and S5 had, has it with all other people, so S1 would have the common clash with S5. This is the common thing. So let's see forward. Let's see. Let's see what else we can conclude. See, S3 had clash with six people. S3 cannot have a clash with himself. That is gone, and it cannot have with S1 because S1 had only with S3. So S3 must have had clash with all the other three, all the other people. So S3 had clash with S2 as well as S4, S5, S6, S7. All of these people. So this is also sorted. Now, uh, who else is having six clashes? S8 is also having six clashes. So he will have a single scenario. S1, S2, not S1, sorry. S1 has with S5, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6, and S7. So this is done. Now let's talk about S7. So when S7 had three clashes, so so now you think yourself with whom S7 can have three clashes. He is clashing with S7, he is clashing with S7, he is clashing with S7. So S7 has clashes with S3, S5 and S8. Okay, fine. Now let's same goes for S2 also. S2 also had clashes with three people. So they also must be S3, S5 and S8. Now S4 had clashes with three, four people. So three of them are definitely S3, S5 and S8. As S4 is listing here, here and here. So three of them are these. Now S, S3 has to get one more clash from where he can get that. See S2 is not able to give, S1 is not able to give, lest everything is exhausted. I mean this clash was with S6. So this must be S4. S4 clash, 
बाकी तो कोई क्लैश कर ही नहीं सकता एस वन की सिर्फ एक थी एस टू की तीन थी बाकी सारे अपने क्लैशेज एग्जॉस्ट कर चुके हैं एस सिक्स इज द ओनली पर्सन लेफ्ट सो एस सिक्स थ्री क्लैशेज ऑलरेडी वन टू एंड थ्री दीज थ्री वर्ड क्लैशेज वर ऑलरेडी विद एस सिक्स ठीक है एंड सॉरी इनफैक्ट दिस वन ऑल्सो let's also think about skills like or let's see what the question is how many clashes did s6 have s6 have four clashes answer is four the number of students competing on one skill is at most so ek skill pe ja sakte hain kitne log ho sakte hain there are five skills s1 are people so let's say the skills are p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 these are the five skills enlisted with us now i have to find that which skill has most number of people so i need to find the common number of common pool of people who are competing so that i can give them one skill like s2 s3 s5 s8 s7 s3 s5 s8 s6 s3 s5 s8 so these three people are common among all things so can i give them all a single thing no i cannot do that why because s2 is not competing with s6 S two is not competing with S six. No, understand with this with very very carefully. Let's say S two, S two is competing with S three, S five, S seven, and S eight at a skill known as skill one. So at skill one, S two is fighting with all of these. Similarly, S four, oh sorry, S six is also fighting with S three, S five, S seven, and S eight. Can I say? Can I say? that these people must be having different skills okay uh, these people must be having different skills why they must be having different skills because if they were having if they were fighting on the same skill then s2 and s6 will also be engaged on that same skill but it is not happening which mean that s2 s6 and s7 they fought on different skills whenever they fought so s7 has a skill set with S three, S five, and S eight. Similarly, S six, S three, S five, S eight, and S four was already there. S six, S three, S five, S eight, not S seven. This was S four was already there. So these are the uh, these five people can be thought that they can be thought of that they competed on skill two. These four people could have been could have fought on skill one. So who fought on skill one? S two. S three, S five, S eight, and one last thing. And why are we giving them different skills? Because if they were fighting on same skills, then S two must also be competing with S six. S two must also be competing with S seven, since they are not competing, which means they are competing on different skills. So now everything is sorted. S five, S five, and S one is left. What else is left? Is there anything left? Any combination four has four has to appear. With three, five, eight, and six, four has to appear with three, five, eight, six. This is done. S three has to compare with three has to come with two, four, five, six, seven, eight. S three has two, five, eight, four, six, seven. So S four as this is also okay. So S five and S one are left. Since they are the only two competing, and S one is not competing with anyone else. S one to self S five के साथ ही compete कर रहे हैं और किसी के साथ तो compete कर ही नहीं रहा. Which means that S one and S five are also competing on a different skill, because had they been competing on skill three or two or one, then S one must also be competing with these people. But since it is not happening, which means this is also the uh, different skill. Now this has fulfilled all my criteria. Now there is no person left. For example, S eight had to be located with S two, S three, S four, S five, S six, S seven. So S eight is two, three, five done. Two, three, and five done. S eight is six done. Four done, six done, four done, seven also done. Seven also done. So these skills of S eight are also exhausted. Now let's say P five. So P five, P five is that skill set on which anyone can come. For example, day two can come here also. 
they can they do can be thought of that they are competing on two skills it can come here also these can come here also anyone can come on s4 sp5 skill 5 or it is possible that no one competed over this so nothing can be said about this skill set so if the, if i ask the number of students competing on one skill is at most so on skill 2 i can see that there are five people so is at most five i use the requirements then each skill is given as many point as it had the number of students who had that skill if there is exactly one skill set where there was no clash so this is obviously then the number of points so on p1 there are four people so p1 is given four points on p2 there are five people p2 is given five points on p3 there are four people so there are four points and p4 there are two people 5 4 9 4 3 and 2 15 so there are 15 points ultimately distributed among these skills the number of skill set on which s1 competed is at most so s1 s1 is competed on p4 and it is also possible that s1 competed here also because i took it as zero on the basis of last question okay but it is quite possible that s1 and s5 fought on these two skills because the word uses at most we have to take the probabilities also so the answer to this question is this brings an end to a very interesting set on dilr okay i hope you guys have understood the concept if you did please do subscribe to our channel and if you wish to join our course and be in the league you can join with the link in the description thank you so much guys have a very great day